Good morning, guys. It's Monday, and guess what I get to play with today? I finally got my Alpha Smart. <laughs> so I'm not doing an unboxing because, first of all, it didn't actually come in a box. I bought it used. It came in a yellow envelope wrapped in bubble paper very securely. This thing, as Robert Jones said in his review, which I will link to down below, this thing could survive the apocalypse. It is super sturdy, so it arrived safely. And even though it's used, it is in perfect condition. So how am I going to be using the Alpha Spark today? Here's the deal. I have to write a book in two weeks. As you guys know from my previous blogs, I have been really working on trying to improve and increase my word count every day. I've been doing sprints, I've been recording them. I read Rachel Aaron's book, 2K to 10K, and I read Chris Fox's book, 5K Words Per Hour. They were both super helpful. I'm using tips that I got from both books and they've both been just like fantastic and it really helped me increase my productivity every day. So today what I'm gonna try doing is I'm gonna be sprinting and doing zero drafting and like scene summarizing on this thing. And then I will take it over to my laptop and try first drafting from there. So I'm gonna be both zero drafting and first drafting together, like zero draft to scene, first draft to scene, back and forth, back and forth. And we're gonna see how that goes. Let's go to the spreadsheets. So here's my 5,000 words per hour spreadsheet. Um, as you can see, I was pretty all over the place last week. I did start out doing more 20 minute sprints and then I gradually worked down to 10, which I think is the opposite of what you're supposed to do. And I probably should have just started with 10 minute sprints. But um, the last day that I worked on this book last week, this is all on one project, which I did manage to finish by the way. I was just doing 10 minute sprints and it was working really well for me. My best day was, you can see right down there, 500 words in 10 minutes or 3,000 words per hour. So that's, so far that is my best time. Now, that was first drafting, not zero drafting. And first drafting, even when I have like a summary to work with, it does tend to go a little bit slower for me. So I'm expecting today when I record these sprints and I go back and forth between zero drafting a scene and then first drafting a scene, I don't expect those sprints to be even. I know the zero drafting stuff, those sprints are gonna be my fastest. That's what I'm expecting anyway, and that's fine. But right now, 3,000 words per hour, that's my record, and I'm gonna see if the Alpha Smart can help me beat that. Also, a little Millwordy update. So, right now, um, the FF, that's the ghostwriting project I was working on last week. I did manage to finish that book on Saturday. I got super close on Friday. Saturday I had about, 2,500 words left and I finished it, which was great. Um, mostly that was all I was working on last week. And I did a little bit of outlining work. Let's see. Um, but yeah, it was mostly all that ghostwriting project. So right now, by the last recorded date here is the 19th on Sunday, 19th of September, I am at 63,974 words for Mulwordy which I think I need to get something like 83,000-ish words a month on average to make it through the year and get a million words. So I feel like I am on track so far, which is great. So here's something hilarious. A few vlogs ago when I was talking about how I schedule out my writing weeks and my writing months and plan for all my deadlines, I made a mistake with this one but it's the kind of mistake that actually works to my advantage. See, what I'm working on today is a book that I'm doing with Scholastic. This is my third middle grade book with them, and um, the announcement just went up last week, so it's called My Otter Half, and I actually sold this to Scholastic on proposal. This is an IP project. I've talked to you guys about these before, and what I mean by selling on proposal is it was essentially a synopsis and uh, three sample chapters that I wrote. Now, I'm actually, I'm, I'm, it's Monday right now that I'm filming this and I'm pretty positive that for next Monday, my video is actually going to be about how to put together a book proposal for fiction, for novels specifically. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe because that'll be going up next week. But for right now, I will just tell you that basically what I do is the editor and I talk about an idea for a story, just like one or two lines, a concept. Sometimes they provide like a page or two of like a loose synopsis or a summary. 
So you can see the story sort of has a beginning, middle, and end, and then I take it and I develop it into a full outline or at least a pretty long synopsis. This one's about five pages. And then I write a few sample chapters. The reason I did three sample chapters for this one is because this novel has three points of view, three different protagonists, and I wanted the sales team, the acquisitions team, everybody who was reading it and considering whether or not they wanted to buy it, I wanted them to get a little bit of time in each of the main characters' heads. So when I say I made a mistake when I was budgeting for how long this is going to take me, this book, I, my target word count is going to be somewhere between 35 and 40,000 words, probably closer to 35 based on the other books I've done with them. And while Obviously, I knew I had written a proposal. I was only thinking about the synopsis. This was way back in the spring that I, I wrote this. It was back in April, I think. I have three chapters already. I have almost 5,000 words, which is like a full day's worth of writing for me, and I wasn't banking on it. So instead of having to write 35,000 words in the next two weeks on this book, I only need to write 30. That's a big deal for me. That That's like a whole day's work knocked out. So that was a fun bonus. I'm glad I'm so flaky that I forgot that I had already written some scenes here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to read through, it's been a while since I've looked at this story, I'm going to read through the synopsis, I'm going to read through the sample chapters, and then I'm going to get my alpha smart, and I'm going to start zero drafting chapter four. So, wow, I forgot a lot of what went on in that book. In a good way though, this is gonna be super fun to write. Um, the book is set in Seattle, but really mostly it's gonna take place like in the, in the uh, national forests, which um, I used to live in Seattle and I'm really familiar with the area. So as far as geography goes and just knowing the place, I won't have too much research to do. But as always with these, animal books, there is definitely going to be animal research that I need to do, um, specifically about otters and dachshunds, because those are the two animals that are two of the characters of the three in this book. One thing I forgot, and this is super fun, is so I've done two of these animal adventure stories for Scholastic before, and they really like each one to have a social media element to it. So in The Dog's Meow, uh, the main character, Mina, she makes t-shirts for her favorite band and she's very artistic and she starts an Instagram account to try to like reach a wider audience and get her business started. And in Somebody to Love, Laura, the main character, her bunny is lost in Manhattan and people are catching videos of this bunny running all over the place with a Shiba Inu puppy and it goes viral on Twitter. And so Twitter plays an important role actually in how she ends up finding the animals. So in this story, the element is actually YouTube. Hey, <laughs> I had just started my channel back when I wrote this synopsis and I think I maybe even had the idea of this being the element that we would include before I decided to start a channel. The main character, Lucy, her older brother has just graduated high school and rather than going off to college like his mom wants, he and his friends have started an outdoor excursion company like kayaking and whale watching and all of that. And to, as part of their business, they have a really popular YouTube channel where they capture footage of all their outdoor excursions. And um, as a result of him choosing not to go to college, he's estranged from their mother, but he's still in touch with Lucy, and this just is causing a lot of tension for Lucy, so that's part of, part of her arc in the story. But anyway, um, her older brother Zach's YouTube channel is actually going to play a pretty important role in the plot of the story as well, so that should be really fun to write. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try Zero Drafting Chapter Four, and I don't need a screen, so I'm gonna go sit somewhere else. Okay, so that was that was pretty cool. I it's weird 
not to look at a screen, but I can see myself getting used to it. Also, I was thinking about like how great this would be on a road trip. I get super, super nauseous when I read in the car. I mean, I, for more than like looking at my phone for 10 seconds is enough to make me get really ill. But with this thing, I can just write and work and stare out the window and look at the view. That's multitasking. That's what that is. It's weird, but I like it is what I'm saying. And I definitely think I could get used to it. All right, so I've got my Otter Half Zero Draft document. It's blank, it's open and ready to go. And now I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. Press send to transfer file one, which is what I wanna do. So I'm gonna hit send. Oh, look at that. There it goes. I was accidentally in all caps at the beginning. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna let this run and take a little break. Okay, so I learned a little something there, and that is that I can't do anything else on my laptop while this is uploading because what I did was I, while it uploaded those words into this document I had open, I went over to my laptop um, while the document was open on my monitor and I tried to open a browser and immediately the text stopped typing in the document and started typing in the browser. So there's a couple words missing from this that I'm gonna have to go back in there and find. So whatever, whatever you have open and that and you're currently in that's where it's going to import those words so i can't do anything else on my laptop while this is happening and it took about five or six minutes there to get all of the words out from a 10 minute sprint so it's it's fairly slow um i mean it's still faster than i type i guess apparently but you do have to wait a little bit which means that maybe this zero draft on the alpha smart and then first draft the scene, maybe that's not the best tactic. Maybe I need to either do longer sprints or zero draft a much, much bigger chunk first and then take a longer break and let it all get into the document and then work on the first draft later. I'm gonna think about that for a little bit. But first I wanna see if I can find that couple of missing words so I can see what my actual final word count was. I beat my record! 531 words in 10 minutes, which is 3,186 words per hour. Still so far away from that 5,000 words per hour goal, but this is a new record for me, and it's just my first time using the Alpha Smart, and it's my first print of the day, and that's awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna re strategize how I want to approach this now that I know that the actual upload time from the Alpha Smart to the laptop is pretty slow and I can't do anything else while it's uploading. Um, but I will check back in with you guys this afternoon and let you know how I did. So here's what I've decided to do see, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different files. So my first sprint is here in file one, and the second sprint that I just did is here in file two. I stopped mid-sentence, right? So on my next sprint, I'm just gonna use file three, which is blank. That way, I can do eight sprints and then upload them one at a time into that doc, and I'll have a separate word count for each one so I can still record my sprints accurately. So I think that's what I'm gonna go for. It's 11.15 and I usually take Rosa out on a walk at noon, so I think I'm gonna try to do at least three more 10 minute sprints with a couple of short little breaks in between. And I'll let it transfer while I'm out on the walk and then we'll see how I did. Also, I went back to the standing desk, AKA my music stand, because last week my fastest sprint was done while I was standing. Don't know if that played a role, but we're gonna find out. I will tell you this much. I have no idea what my word count was on that last sprint, but I know there are a ton of typos that I am not going back to correct, which has gotta make me faster. And also my hand is cramping like crazy, which is not 
a great thing, <laughs> but I think I am typing a lot faster. So I don't know, I'm very curious to see after I do this next set of sprints, how much faster I actually got and what the word per hour count is. We'll see, back to it. So yeah, I didn't steadily improve my game on that, but I did beat that record. I got 593 words in a 10 minute sprint, and that is 3,558 words per hour, which was my record for Monday. Now on Tuesday, I didn't do anything but sprint. I didn't vlog, I didn't film any of it. I have no footage. Um, I didn't allow myself to work on literally anything else but this book. And it really was a pretty productive day, what do you know? I went, this is the same spreadsheet, but I went ahead and color coded it just to make it easier to see what is a first draft result and what is a zero draft result because like I said, I'm just way faster at zero drafting. So the stuff in blue is all zero draft and it's also all uh, sprints that I did on the Alpha Smart. So on Tuesday, my record for first draft sprints was 2,916 words per hour, and I did beat my rep record on the Alpha Smart for zero drafting. I got 3,606 words per hour, 601 words in 10 minutes. That was freaking awesome. I really wish I could have repeated that, and I did get close here, but I never really managed to repeat it. And this right here, 9 o'clock, uh, 9.05 a.m., that's Wednesday. Wednesday, I started out, as you can see, it was a little slow, but it was fine. I was kind of picking up speed, and then I just started to not feel really good. Uh, by the afternoon, my allergies were so bad, I was foggy-headed, I couldn't focus, and I did, I went to bed, <laughs> and I took my laptop, and I worked on the book, I just kind of picked at the first draft, so I did actually get more words in, but I wasn't sprinting, I wasn't recording anything, and I didn't film any of it because it was just not a great, not a great afternoon, but that happens. So here's my Milwardy spreadsheet and my updates there. Let's see. So on Monday, oh, smart, I got uh, 2,670 words of zero draft and 2,416 words on the first draft for that book, so a total of a little over 5,000 words for the day. Tuesday was my, my killer day, 10 minute sprints all day, nothing else. Uh, only 1,659 on the zero draft. That was mostly a first draft day, which is nuts because I'm slower there, but I still got 4,700 words for a total of 6,000, oops, arrow, 6,432 words that day of drafting, which is way by far a new record for me. And then, yeah, yesterday was kind of rough. It was all first draft, 2,500 words. I mean, not a bad day at all, but you know, I'm so used to 5,000 being my baseline now that this kind of felt sad. But that brings me to, we are at September 16th, so a little over halfway through the first month of Milwardy, and I'm at 78,045 words, which is great. I think I'm going to finish out September being a little ahead of where I need to be, which is always a good way to start something. So yeah, that's awesome. And now it is Thursday, and I am taking a day off on this book. It was an intense three days in a row solely focusing on one project and that's about my threshold plus i do have other deadlines today is going to be all about the video game also i've got a presentation that i'm putting together for a virtual summit i'm going to be a part of that i'm excited to tell you guys about hopefully in a few videos that'll be in october i need to work on that today and i have a ghostwriting client who's waiting on a beat sheet which i'm pretty sure i can knockout today. Um, that shouldn't take me long. It's a real basic like one page beat sheet. But yeah, lots of other little things to do today. And I also have to edit and upload this vlog. So <laughs> that's a full day, but it's nice to have a break from the drafting because that was really intense. That was a lot of words crammed into three days. But I'm feeling pretty good about this deadline. I think I'm going to be able to hit it just fine. And most importantly, I am so pleased with this purchase, you guys. I did mention it on uh, Lisa's live stream this week, and there were there was at least one comment where somebody said they weren't able to find one. So you can buy it used, and it's a great price. Like I, I usually see them between thirty to fifty dollars, depending on the seller. But I'm gonna go ahead and link to that in the comments below. So be sure to check that out if you want to get one, and make sure if you do get it that you, it comes with the USB cord that you need to plug straight into your laptop. This thing is great. I I did get sore 
from typing, but that's not the alpha smart because it happened regardless of where I was sitting or whether I was standing. I even did a sprint here at my desk where I usually use my laptop. So I was in the exact same position and it, and my wrist got sore and it's not the alpha smart. It's because I'm typing so fast. So what I need to do, and if anybody has any tips out there, I would appreciate it is figure out how to get faster at typing without risking tendonitis. This, I feel like this is something that I should already know because I'm a percussionist. I know how to work my wrists and not get tendonitis. Like this is not a foreign concept to me, but yeah, it's, it's brutal when I really try to race those couple of sprints where I was racing and I got 600 words in 10 minutes. It was aching at the end of that. So that's going to be the next step. That's going to be something I have to figure out. But anyway, that's going to be it for this vlog. I hope you guys are having a great week and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on Monday with another video. Bye. Stop saying, um, and in somebody to love. Oh my gosh. What's her name? The main character. Um, God, what's her name?